Valentine's Day is this Thursday, don't forget. And what woman doesn't want to feel loved and pampered on this special day? But what about the men? They need love too, and they want to say. Let me introduce to you to our man panel. Nick Reichert, who's in a new relationship. We're over here, Ryan Simmons, a married guy. And our single friend, Jared Levine. Okay, guys, give it to me straight here. How do you feel about Valentine's Day? Is it pretty intimidating? They're all quiet. <laughs> Ryan, you first, well, it married has been, man. It has been in the past. Um, I think over the years I've kind of figured it out. My wife and I, we're not big celebrators of the holiday, but um, since I had my daughter, uh, I tend to pay a little bit more attention to it, try to treat her and Keep the romance alive. Oh, yeah. Jared, what about you? Well, what do you think about it? Because you're single now. I know. Well, I've always loved Valentine's Day because <clears throat> um, my mother always spoiled me. I always had a little Aww. little gift basket, some candy hearts, a uh, little Valentine's card or something like that. Uh -huh. So I've learned to be pretty good over the years, um, single, not single. Yeah. And Nick, you're in a new relationship. Do you feel pressured on Valentine's Day? I think a little bit, just especially because it's new. You know, you're, you don't want her friends to be asking, you know, what did she do or what, what did he do for you? And then all right. of a sudden, you're like, you know, so it's more pressure to definitely get the, the dinner reservations, the flowers, stuff like that, at least the base. And then anything else is a little bit, I guess, bragging rights. For it kind of does so. feel like the pressure is put on the guys, I think, because I kind of feel like I still haven't bought anything for my husband yet. And I feel off the hook. But, you know, I need to step it up, don't I? You're making me feel bad here. <laughs> but guys are so hard to shop for. What the heck do you get a guy, Jared? Um... It depends on how long the relationship is, I guess. Ah. Um, little details, accessories, watches. Watches are oh, cool. Oh, okay. You think so too, Nick? Yeah, Nick's nodding. Watches are good. <laughs> and Brian, you're smiling. Well, that's a little bit much for you're me. You're like, can a man just get some love? <laughs> uh, you know, the older you get into a relationship, the less it takes, I think. You know, the really? small things, you know. It, it, cards, candy, little things to do it. Now, what if, uh, uh, what do you think if a woman is in a new relationship? Does she does she expect a gift or not, Nick? I think I mean, she's right in the studio too. So be careful yeah, what you say. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I think definitely it's one of those like expectations that you that isn't really spoken. But if you don't get it, then then you're kind of in trouble. But nobody you can't really expect it, I guess. But I think. It, it's kind of an unspoken expectation. Jared, do you agree women should expect something? Or Yeah, I, um, I don't think it necessarily has to be a tangible gift, though. Um, last Valentine's Day, I took my girlfriend at the time on a trip. On a trip. Uh, so that was nice. You know, we spent Fashion Week in New York City. Man, that's a, that's a <laughs> tough one to live up to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Make us look bad. <laughs> wow. You know, and I think, too, just a handwritten note sometimes just means so much to a yeah. woman. It really does. But this isn't about... The women. Let's get back to the men. <laughs> what mistakes do women make? What do you think, Jared? Um, no, none really. Y'all don't make any mistakes ever. Yeah, Listen, that's what you're I was saying. saying. All the right things. You're going to get so many emails after this, Brian. Well, I think um, don't take for granted that a man doesn't want anything. It could be something simple, something small, just some kind of acknowledgement would do. You don't have to do anything big. You don't have to do what we do. But just a simple acknowledgement, you know, that'll work. Any advice for, for men who haven't shopped yet? Get on it. <laughs> I, just, I started a couple weeks ago, so. Oh, one that's so flowers. smart. Yeah, yeah, one hundred flowers. There. Yeah, Jared was saying just before the segment that basically all the flower commercials are starting right now, and that's how you know it's Valentine's Day. Thank goodness, right? You don't forget. There's plenty of reminders. And we won't let you forget, right? <laughs> if you do forget. <laughs> I'm back with our man panel. These guys are giving us the scoop on love and relationships. Back for a little more advice. Nick Reichert, who's in a new relationship. Brian Simmons, our married guy of eight years. And Jared Levine, our single guy. So earlier, uh, you guys told us how Valentine's Day, how men view that. There's a little bit of pressure there on you to step it up. Women kind of, we get off the hook, don't we? Uh, let's talk about expressions of love. Do you think the chivalry is dead? I would say, uh, luckily for me, it is because it makes it easy when you know how to use it. <laughs> exactly. And I can tell you're the romantic of the budget season, like, but Brian, I don't know. What do you think? You seem pretty romantic, too. Well, I'll do what I can. I don't think chivalry is dead, though. I, uh, I'm a Southern boy, so I definitely believe in it and believe in taking care of my ladies. Mm -hmm. so. You're a real gentleman, and Nick, of course, you are, too. Yeah, of course. That's, <laughs> I mean, that's the main way you can express to a girl that you really do care about them is to, you know, put them first, open doors, you know, tell them how pretty they are every day. That's something I think that, oh. that you, definitely is something that, you should be doing. And that so. really goes a long way, that's for sure. Yeah, it does. Uh, a new survey suggests that social media really hurts romance. What do you guys think? Uh, Brian, I know you've tried social media in the past. 
Uh, I think it can enhance, you know, romance if you apply it correctly. You know, be careful. There's a lot of things you can, traps you can fall in, but if you apply it correctly, it can enhance what, whatever you're doing as long as you're doing something. What do you guys think? I think it's definitely a fun way to flirt sometimes. Can uh -huh. be, definitely. But um, for, for longer, longer term relationships? Um, eh. Probably not so much, no. Yeah. And Nick, you have any yeah, say on this? That. Well, I mean, that's how I met my girlfriend, was, ah. or reconnected with my girlfriend. So you love like, social media exactly, right now, yeah. don't you? <laughs> so, I mean, as, as it goes along, though, I definitely need to probably cut back on that. So I don't think it can help too much. Now, Jared, you mentioned the flirting on social media. Do you think the guys hide behind it when it comes to dating? Um, I think it's hard to hide on social media because your whole life is right out there. So oh. if you're hiding anything, it would probably be pretty obvious. Yeah, I'd be the one that would be like photoshopping pictures. And <laughs> this is what I look really look. <laughs> so uh, here's a question that you might love the sound of. Maybe, how can women show their appreciation of men? Just on what they say. I get this little glimmer in your eyes, <laughs> <laughs> Brian. <laughs> you know, words work. Just say it. You know, if you if you're doing the right thing as a man, and your or your mate is doing the right thing for you, just say it. That that goes a long yeah, exactly. way. Exactly. I completely agree with that. The feedback. Feedback's yeah. important. Yeah. And Jared, you're nodding. A favorite meal goes a long way. <laughs> oh, yes. That's it. Is that true what, what people say about, you know, food being the way to a man's heart? First, Definitely, first yeah. way. Okay. All <laughs> Definitely, right. Yeah. You're a sucker for that. Okay, so we just had the Super Bowl. I always find it amusing how guys can get so emotionally in involved with the Super Bowl. They jump up and cheer. They show tons of emotion. When it comes to a relationship, it's like they can't express themselves. Not all guys, but why is that? I think that's a lot an of... unfair question. Yeah. Oh, is it unfair? Yeah. <laughs> comparing football to... <laughs> yeah, that's... Why is it unfair? That's like comparing it to religion almost. Really? It's Why do you say that? It's football. <laughs> so football <laughs> deserves some emotion? Do women not deserve emotion? Uh, An expression of feelings? It's a different kind of emotion that you apply to football in your relationship. Why is that? Your football goes back to when you are a little kid, you know, something that's innate in you as a little boy. <laughs> you have to learn to how to become a man in a relationship. Okay, so, so it's a different set of skills then. One's just instinct and the other one is a learned trait, you're saying? Yes, exactly. Okay, all right. Well, guys, yeah, you've given us so much to think about. Um, and I'm just thinking I've got to step it up and I better get Valentine's <laughs> Day shopping right now. <laughs> our man panel, Nick, Brian, Jared, appreciate it, guys. Right, no problem.